video, we're going to explore some of the resources that are available to you in the new Marvels Coursebook series for primary learners. It can be overwhelming when you start using a new coursebook in your classes, as you have to navigate so much unknown material and work out how best to use it with your students. In the next three tips, we'll highlight ways in which you can maximize your use of the resources to support your students' learning and make your classes run as smoothly as possible. More and more, we need to consider how to use the digital material that comes with our course books when planning our lessons. With your new Marbles course books for primary learners, you have a variety of digital tools to support students' learning, both in class and at home. On the Helbling eZone for Kids, you'll find the digital versions of the pupils book and the activity book, as well as the flashcards for each level and extra train to think digital activities. On the eZone, you also have a digital game section, which you can access and play with your students according to the unit you are covering. Remember, the digital version of the course book is useful, even if you don't have an interactive whiteboard or projector in your classes. Use it to quickly locate the audios for listening tracks and reveal the answers so you don't have to go looking for them in the teacher's book. The activity book is something that many teachers just think of as extra activities to use if they have time. But it's so much more than that and is a resource that you should be using frequently. Wherever you see the activity book marble at the bottom of the page in the pupils book, you'll know that there is a corresponding page in the activity book practicing the same skill or language. So, when should you use it? When focusing on language, the activity book is great for extra control practice in class to reinforce the activities that you have completed in the pupils book. Alternatively, it works very well to set as homework or at the beginning of the next lesson to review what you covered the lesson before. As from Marbles 3, you'll also find exam-specific practice at the back of the activity book for the Cambridge Young Learner exam associated with the level you are teaching. And each unit focuses on a different part of the exam with a handy exam tip to help master that all-important exam technique. Using the My Classes function on the Helbling eZone for Kids, you can set up groups and allocate work for students Read, to do, listen, and either in the classroom if they have access to an electronic device or at home for homework. Online practice and progress tests can be monitored by the teacher and there is even an option to set some of your more capable students extension tasks in order to give them the extra challenge they need. However, you don't have to use all of the tests for evaluation purposes. You also have the handy test builder function, which is great for generating extra practice activities for your lessons or homework to reinforce certain language points. If you're looking for ways to develop your students speaking, then there are downloadable speaking tests for each unit, which can simply be used as supplementary speaking tasks in class. And just like that, we have finished the last in our series of videos on how to use your new Marbles Coursebook series for primary learners. Remember, the best way to see which resources work for you and your students is to try them out in class and spend some time looking through everything that comes with your Marbles Coursebooks. <music>